Today we eat food you can't buy at the store no more. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Right now, somewhere in the world, there are some food scientists who are working tirelessly to create the next snack food that will blow your taste buds away. And this is a trial and error process. I mean, sometimes they strike gold and they create sour cream and onion potato chips. Mm. And sometimes they fall a little short and create corn nuts. Today we are gonna be exploring those foods that fell a little bit short mm. and were discontinued. And But we have used our powers, our magical powers of recontinuing to at least bring some here on the show today, the actual discontinued You mean the snacks. magical powers of going on eBay and buying things? Yes, that yes. is true. So we're gonna determine if the discontinuation was a good choice choice or if they should be brought back. It's time for Snack Back to Reality. Oh, they're so snackity. All right, recently we did a uh, ultimate sour cream and onion snack taste test, but there's one sour cream and onion snack that we didn't include because it has been discontinued and that is Doritos. What? Now, I don't remember these. Me, it me sounds neither. like an incredible idea. Yeah. I don't remember them, but they started, they were introduced in the late 70s and they only made it until the early 80s. Uh, and then there was a, uh, they brought them back for a little bit in 2012 and 2013. I missed that as well. Throwback flavor. Uh, but here's the old school commercial for sour cream and onion Doritos. Mm. If you're fussy about your sour cream and onion mm. dip. I am. You'll really love our latest flavors. Mm. So for a snack, with a great taste of sour mm. cream and onion already on the chip, try sour cream and onion Doritos. They taste as good as they crunch. Well, Mario looks terrible. <laughs> <laughs> he brought the house down, though. <laughs> oh man! All right, we've got we've got these. We got some now. This again, is not the Mario packaging. Th this is not. This isn't even the 2012 or 2013 packaging because in Japan they never took these away. Mm. Uh, so we eBayed these from Japan. Only paid three dollars and twenty five cents for them. That's a good price. Now the only thing I can read on this is Doritos. Well, I can also read limited. limited. It's, li it's oh, even limited I can there. read Frito-Lay. You know There's what? lots of English on here. I feel so at home. Now, pop it open and give it a nice tear. Now, let's smell. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nothing wrong with that. It's actually, mm. the chief smell I smell is still, it's still the corn chip. Well, and that may be, the, my may friend, be, why yeah. they discontinued them, because we know it works well with a regular potato chip. I'm going. Mm. Oh, that's good. What could be wrong? Mm. Man, this is reason mm. to move to Japan. Mm. Why would they give these and take these away? I think because there's so many sour cream and onion things at our disposal, they're, they're exploring new gimmicky flavors instead. I feel like I could eat the whole bag right now. Yeah, I feel like I'm gonna fight you for that. You know what? I kind of feel like maybe Cool Ranch has taken the place of these because it has this creamy, sort of tangy taste to it. But there's enough room in my particular heart for both Cool Ranch and sour cream. Oh yeah, and it's like taking a trip straight to Tokyo. What? So should they be recontinued in America? Heck yes. Absolutely. Over the years, Kool-Aid has made many different flavors, and many of them have been discontinued, including this 90s hit, Lemon Ice. Mm. Let's watch it. Uh, hot salsa for Kool-Aid, man. I remember this commercial. Who knew he was a chemist? Something's happening in my mouth. It feels icy cool. But there's no ice. New Kool-Aid Ice Cool. Lemon Ice, Arctic Green Apple. Where's the fire? No fire here. You again? Oh. Why did oh every, yeah! Why did everybody have to have like a mustache and, and bushy eyebrows in those commercials back <laughs> it's then? It's so funny and it makes me so thirsty. Something's happening in my mouth. Yeah. That's called taste. Yeah, that's it's happening. Right. Okay, so life what, is full of it. Um, now your typical pack is going to cost like two fifty for twelve. Uh, we have eBayed these discontinued packs. These are the actual ones from the nineties yes. for ten dollars and fifty cents for for ten packets. So it, it's a bit of a price jump. We've got some sugar water here. Now I don't know if this is safe. I don't know what happens to Kool-Aid, you know, over the decades. I'm thinking nothing. It smells exactly like I would expect it to smell. Yeah. Now, this is already sugar water, right? That's, yeah. So there's there's bunkers of this, you know, hidden in like bomb shelters, oh, and gosh. it's gonna it would taste just the same. 
Oh, I love the way so it looks like. It you looks like there's ice in it, jar. but there's not ice in it. Looks like lemon ice. All right, so that's 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 pretty. pretty I, quick you know, I wasn't there. allowed to drink Kool Aid. It was one of the things that my mom just drew a boundary around. You didn't earn it. Too much sugar. Got to earn it. All right, so um, looks now, like watered down milk. All right, so let's 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 give it a sniff. It smells smells like a spicier lemonade. Yeah, drink it and drink it. Hmm, what's happening in your mouth right now? What's happening in my mouth? Should we call the fire department? <laughs> <laughs> um, or should we just drink more lemon ice? Um, so so there's a guy on Facebook who said, "Whatever happened to lemon ice Kool Aid? That my friend was the best." Kool Aid themselves responded and said, "Chris, lemon ice is not currently available, but if you have tr if you haven't." Try lemonade Kool-Aid. And then he replied and he said, I have, but it doesn't have the zing that the ice has. Let me tell you right now. It does now, have its Kool-Aid There's zing. a zing, almost like I might be drinking something that's got poison in it. But you know a, what I'm saying? In a really good way. I don't know. I, I, I know. Oh, I like it. I like I, the poison. I, I think that giving this to children is giving them a taste for poison. I think you give Well, they mixed it this, in beakers, man. The next thing you know, they're under the cabinet. You know, you don't want that. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> Mom, do you have any cleaner? I want some cleaner in my mouth. I think you're right. So because this is a safety hazard, yeah. uh, should this be recontinued? No. Okay, we all know Altoids as the curiously strong mint, but they also had some curiously strange flavors uh, for a little bit, including citrus Altoids. Now these were introduced uh, early 2000s and they were discontinued in 2010. Okay. Uh, so it didn't make it a decade, but there is a little bit of, of a movement to bring them back. There's actually a change.org petition started by Sam Wilner, has 174 supporters. Nice. Sam says, let me start off by saying these things were the bomb. Even though they wrecked the roof of your mouth, they were sweet, tangy, and even not very unhealthy. More than that, they were the quickest pick-me-up for a sixth grader whose turtle died under mysterious circumstances. Mm, feeding them to the turtle, <laughs> not yeah. a good idea. Uh, so we have some. Now, this is a curious process to get these because we paid $50 from David Cross. <laughs> what? David Cross was selling these on wow. eBay. Who knew he needed the cash? Right. <laughs> well, I mean, that, hey, that's what he's doing. He's not acting anymore. <laughs> he's just charging a lot of money for old Altoids. Man, okay. Now, so these are expired 2005. Oh, my goodness. Let's open them. And so you, you press on this to get it to, okay, there it comes. It's like, what? Oh, no. <laughs> Dude, it's, it's entirely melted. $50 for one big melted Altoid mass. I am so disappointed in David Cross right now. Oh, my gosh. It looks like fat that's been liposucted. It mm -hmm. does look like human fat, like when they show you. Yeah. When the doctor's like, do you know what a pound of human fat looks like? Here it is in an Altoids can. I'm selling them on eBay for $50. <laughs> I don't tell anybody. This is why you gave us spoons. Now I understand. Um. Oh, <laughs> like, like, <laughs> I thought, I thought it was gonna like give a little bit. Oh, oh. give a little bit of a fifty dollar oh, Altoid to me. I got, I got, I got some free. See if you can get some free. Man, this yeah. is fifty dollars. These better be good, David. My spoon, my spoon got. <laughs> there you go. Oh, oh, oh. Here's a, here's a piece. That that is oh, the equivalent good. of like half an Altoid. Oh, tastes like an air freshener. <laughs> That's bad. Oh my gosh, it tastes like an air freshener, it like something hanging down in your car. And it feels like a hardened piece of gum you pulled out from under a like desk. Like, oh man, that wasn't gum. That was an air freshener. Sam, I see why your turtle died. <laughs> oh my goodness. I feel like the jury is still out on this one because something about it being over ten years old, like melted and reconstituted. And melted, I don't feel like I can make a judgment call, but if this is what. Is the best representation of citrus Altoids that we have is? Should they be brought back? No. No. And now let me take you back to 1993 when there was such a thing as crystal clear Pepsi. Mm -hmm. uh, they had an amazing commercial which featured uh, Van Halen's song Right Now. We're gonna show you the commercial but we've replaced the Van Halen song with an arguably even better song which we've used on our show before. Yes. Yeah. Make it, baby. And watch it. Computers can laugh now, by the way. 
make it clear. Whoa! It's so refreshing. It's a big glass. All right, and I'm gonna stop it right there on a shirtless oh, man. I wanna see dr more. Drinking a clear Pepsi. Right now, someone just got a taste of the future. You're welcome. It's like a PowerPoint commercial. <laughs> it really it, was. It's, it's like the guy in the ad agency did a PowerPoint presentation about why he wanted to bring it back, and the guy was like, make yes. that the commercial! Yes, that's it. That's, that's the great. perfect ad. Just add Van Halen. It is a lock. All right. Um, now, we actually have it right here. The thing uh, is, I totally uh, remember it this. went away in the early 90s, but then it was brought back in January of this year in a fluke of marketing and then was discontinued once again, but we did get our hands on these. Let's crack open the clearness. Now, I remember when this came Not out their slogan, in, the, in the 90s, I thought that it was, there was a lot of like questions around, is this just gonna taste like Pepsi, but it's clear? Or is this gonna taste like, is it a different flavor? Is it not cola anymore? Is it healthy? 250 calories per 20 ounce oh, bottle. Oh yeah, that's healthy. Uh, studies indicated that people thought clear soda was healthier than darker soda. Oh, right. Studies also indicated that people don't understand health. <laughs> right. All right, let's taste it though. $15 for a six pack. Everything I remembered it being of drinking a Pepsi, like a just a normal Pepsi. It tastes like Pepsi that's had something important taken out of it. I mean, honestly, I feel like like it's soul. It's like soulless <laughs> Pepsi. Yeah, it's like Pepsi that's been through a really bad experience. It's like Pepsi without a conscience. Um, boy, I really wanted to like this just out of nostalgia. I I like it. You do? I, I like Pepsi. You know, so I like this. It tastes no different than Pepsi to me. Oh, no it, different. Yeah. It's clear cola. That's right. Because it that's it's what just, that's the weird thing. It's like when you this it tastes like when you go to a restaurant and the fountain's not working right. And you're like, oh, your fountain's not working, the syrup's broken. Well, no, that doesn't have any flavor, right? This is different. It has all the flavor of Pepsi. <laughs> it doesn't have it doesn't, all the flavor. It doesn't it has all the flavor. Let me close my eyes and taste it. Take your shirt off too, probably. I think that's what it needs. Is that just Pepsi? <laughs> right. Okay, so should this it's not doing it for me? Uh, should this stay discontinued? Uh, well, if you really like it, I mean, maybe I'll get some for your birthday. So I guess we should bring it back. I don't think we should bring it back. I think you should just close your eyes when drinking Pepsi. Okay, there we go. We should not bring it back. No. Okay, so the only thing we're bringing back is uh, Doritos, and they actually already exist in Japan. So I don't think we've accomplished anything. But hopefully, you enjoyed it. <laughs> Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. I'm Keaton. That's Mozart, and I'm in Salzburg, Austria, and it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Ten-year-old Altoids are far from the worst thing we've ever eaten. Read all about it in Rhett and Link's Book of Mythicality, available for pre-order at bookofmythicality.com. And click through to Good Mythical More, where we, we are going to eat 14-year-old Yu-Gi-Oh! Limited Edition cereal. Giftacality! That means we are donating $1,000 to the National Alliance to End Homelessness to help them in their mission to prevent and eventually end homelessness. Join us in giving at endhomelessness.org. Endhomelessness.org. Thank Thanks you for, for being, being your, your mythical, mythical best. best. Click on the left to watch our show after the show, Good Mythical More. Click on the right to watch another episode of Good Mythical Morning. And make sure to check out our new channel, This Is Mythical, by clicking the video at the bottom. Thanks for being your mythical best.